A little over a year ago, I went to an auction in Mount Hope, Ohio, and I laid my eyes on one of the most beautiful horses I've ever seen. He looked sad, but I could tell he was absolutely gorgeous and had so much potential. He was a Frisian heritage horse, which is a Frisian standard bred. I saw him go through the auction ring and my heart completely dropped. I'd been waiting several hours to bid on him and I just couldn't stand the thought of losing him. I did end up winning the bid and I was so excited to bring this beautiful horse into my home, bring him to my farm and work with him and give him a better life. This clip right here shows the second that he stepped off the trailer and arrived at the farm. Then he spent a couple weeks in quarantine. I was so excited to have him home and in my pasture and I honestly couldn't even believe that he was my horse. He's so majestic and so kind. I absolutely fell in love with him. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you Jafar's entire one year transformation and everything I did to get him to where he is today. I really hope that you enjoy watching Horse Lovers. It was such a magical experience. As I said, the first couple weeks, Jafar spent time in quarantine. So I would just hang out with him while he was eating so that he could get to know me a little bit more. And it was such a good bonding experience. I let him know that he was safe and we really just had a great time hanging out and getting to know one another. He is so precious and sweet and this was such a wonderful time. Then he was out of quarantine and was able to stretch his legs and kick out and all I could think was, gosh, please don't buck like that when I ride you for the first time. I'm just kidding, but he's so beautiful. It was so cute. The next morning when I came out after he was done with quarantine, I put him with Gaston and found them like this. It was so precious. Then I began doing the groundwork with him. So our training process was slow and I did groundwork for a good three weeks before even considering throwing a saddle on him or anything else. Jafar was five years old at the time and had only had a couple rides under saddle before I purchased him at auction. So he was still very green. So we spent a lot of time doing desensitization. I got to know him more. He loved drinking out of the hose. And then of course he met his herd and was doing really well in the pasture. Once I felt we had done enough training on the ground and got him comfortable, it was time for his first ride under saddle. This of course, would be his first ride at the farm but his third ride overall under saddle from what I was told. I definitely was nervous but I was really excited because I knew that he'd be a good boy because I've taken the time to prepare him from the ground and build a relationship before just hopping on him. So as you can see he was crooked, he was out of balance, out of whack. I had never ridden a Frisian or a Frisian cross before so the trot was definitely a lot different for me as he has more animation. Jafar also has more curve to his top line in his back which is a conformational defect however it doesn't affect his functionality but it has me training more difficult for the first ride because he doesn't have as much strength in his back. So I've had to work really hard over the last year to strengthen that top line and do the exercises appropriate to really help him build some muscle. It's also challenging in the aspect that he's a Frisian and Frisians are meant to carry themselves high. We did a lot of liberty work as well throughout our training process. So as you can see, I have nothing on him, no ropes, and I'm just using my energy to help him to transition to walk, trot, canter. And it's just a really good bonding exercise. Once again, it's all about the connection and spending your time with them. He is such a love bug and I truly, truly adore him. He's such a sweet horse. Jafar would get stronger day by day and we rode in all types of weather, all types of terrain, no matter what, and all throughout the seasons. It was really fun. Then we came into winter, so of course we were stuck riding in the indoor arena besides some occasional hacks out in the field. He did a really good job and we worked on riding bitless and in a snaffle, so it was a really great part of his education. Throughout Jafar's training process, we would do various exercises such as poles, jumping, hacking out, all different types of various activities to keep his mind and body fresh. We even did some bridalless riding and this was the first time I ever rode him bridalless. He did a fantastic job and it really showed that he was getting stronger, listening to my seat and leg aids, and really wanting to connect with me. Horses are such willing animals and if you really give them time and effort and really guide them, they're gonna give you everything. It was phenomenal to see the transformation and how Jafar had put on some more muscle. Even though he had a little winter weight at this time, he looked so much better than when he came out of the auction. I'm so proud of him. This process is so rewarding, even though it might have some of its challenge. Throughout this transformation process, Jafar was also getting the wellness care he deserved. He was getting Cairo, massage, myofascial release, femur treatments, good farrier care, and dental equilibrium. So this is another aspect of the transformation. It's not just training, it's also wellness and developing an appropriate plan for each horse. As you can see here, this was one of our hacks just around the property in the dead of winter. I wanna make sure to give my horses everything I got and expose them to different situations. So in this exercise, we just decided to ride around the barn and just get out of the indoor arena. It was wonderful. 
we had a lot of fun we had group activities that would expose him to a lot of different people being around different horses multiple horses in the arena just giving him the all-encompassing approach and just putting him in different situations i can't stress that enough so that was another huge portion of his transformation process just giving him more miles and more experiences he started learning how to tie at the hitching post and the cross ties doing different things every day while keeping things consistent at the same time he was really starting to blossom then spring hit and we were able to ride in the outdoor arena again it was fun riding them through the puddles you got to make the best of what you have even though it can be really wet here in michigan we had a lot of fun just playing in the puddles doing more cross rails and here you're going to see him doing a few more jumps i found out he really actually enjoys jumping it's an amazing amazing thing to figure out what they love to do so as you can see here he's jumping this little vertical he absolutely adores it and then we started hitting the trail and trailering out and going different places this was his first time out on the trail and he was leading he rode away from the other horse we were cantering it was absolutely phenomenal this was a favorite part of my process, just getting out on the trail because it's one of my favorite things to do as well. Some of the students started doing some groundwork and riding him just a little bit so he'd get some more exposure to other riders. It was phenomenal. And at this point he was six years old, so he, got a little bit more mature and as you can see here he's really starting to develop he's gained more muscle he's able to collect a little bit more or have moments of collection and building more strength in the hind end as time would go on jafar was becoming a completely different horse he was much more relaxed building so much more confidence and he was starting to change in both his body and mind i was so happy with how our training was paying off and the connection that we've developed over the last several months it was still muddy michigan spring and we had to ride in the rain sometimes but he was overall transforming into a beautiful horse i could tell that his body was changing and he was becoming much more muscular and fit at the same time he was getting softer in the bridle and more responsive to my aids this is the overall goal and as you can see he's starting to stretch his neck out and even telescope a little bit instead of being really high up and stiff with tension this is my overall goal for him as he is still a young horse and it takes several years to develop collection which we're going to start working on a little bit more in the near future I was so proud of him and truly couldn't believe the changes he was undergoing. It is such a magnificent feeling. Then we started going on even more adventures. This arena is the first one he's been in besides our one at home. As you can see, I'm doing some groundwork to warm him up here and then we're gonna ride. He was being really good and really focused. I am so incredibly proud of him. I just can't stop saying that. As you can see, he was very in tune with me and doing his very best to stay focused. And we had an amazing ride. It was absolutely beautiful out, lovely weather. And this was actually in Tennessee. So about nine hours away from our home. He was doing a great job and really trying his best. We even did this really fun obstacle course. So again, just trying to do as many different things as I can possibly think of with him without giving him any stress or flooding and just giving him miles and an all encompassing approach and making them do different things going a little bit outside the comfort zone without pushing hard <laughs> he tries so hard he's down to do whatever and he gives me his whole heart which is so important he went through these noodles which he wasn't sure about but did really great and he actually really loves going over bridges it's so funny then we started going on more trail rides. We did some camping, which Jafar really seemed to enjoy. During our hackouts, I would make sure to ride him away from the group. I'd ride him in the front, in the back, in the middle, all different parts, just to make sure that he was getting that experience. Riding him in Tennessee and camping was one of my favorite memories. It was breathtaking views. It just really showed like how much trust and connection you have to have with your horse because some of the terrain was extremely difficult and being able to work through these things together and build that relationship and build that experience was amazing. He did such a good job and he didn't flinch at anything. He really thought about where his feet were and we just had some magical moments. Riding in this field just, I can't even explain how amazing it feels to be able to do this on a horse and doing it from the standpoint of you're training them, it's the first time they've done it, you're doing it together. It was so rewarding. This was another one of our hackouts and watching this video, I just saw how much he really had changed from the first time I saw this sad horse in an auction ring. Like he just is so beautiful and magnificent. And I can just see that he's really developing in all of his luster and he's just become an entirely different horse. Same soul, different body, different training, different perspective on life now. And this was just fantastic. I'm very grateful that I have the opportunity to be able to work with horses and revitalize them. This is my life purpose and I'll never want to do anything else. I'm going to do this for as long as I possibly can because just seeing all the work that goes into it is so amazing. 
Now Jafar is going to one of his first shows and this is again another great thing to do giving them a well-rounded approach to different environments and again he was fantastic. I think he's good because we've spent a lot of time with him and he's been exposed to different places and we've learned how to work through any kind of stress or anxiety that might arise. And my assistant Natalie showed him in his first show, which was really kind of her to do because I was really busy helping the students out. But it was amazing to be able to see him in a show environment and do a fantastic job. He is a phenomenal horse and I am just so grateful that I found him that day at that auction in Ohio because who would have thought that in under a year, a very green broke or hardly broke horse would be doing shows and hacking out and going on trail rides and camping trips and winning ribbons. It just goes to show you what you give to the horse is what they're gonna give back to you. And that's what it really comes down to. It's not about being a fancy trainer. It's about putting in your best effort, giving the horse love, care, wellness, working on yourself and building knowledge as you go. And if you do that, it's incredible what these sentient beings will do for you. Now it's summertime and I'm doing just a low-key bridalist ride on Jafar. So I have ridden him in the indoor arena bridalist, but this was our first time riding in the outdoor bridalist. And as you can see, he's very calm and relaxed. He used to be a little more nervous and I don't want to say spooky because he's never really spooked, but just a little more on edge. And now I'm able to just ride him with no bridle on around the outdoor arena or wherever. And he's very confident and he just looks to his rider for that confidence. And that's what I've been trying to give him the best of my ability and we're just having a blast as you can see i'm just working him in the trot a little bit i'm riding him all over the ring and then i'm gonna do a few different gates with him as well but this horse is just again he's completely developed he's completely changed and he's only six he still has so much more room for improvement and there's so much more to do and so much more to work on but from the standpoint of being in an auction and now one year later this is where he's at and again this is just a very laid back we're just having fun working on being in tune and rhythm and focusing on our seat commands and our voice commands and our energy at this ride and now you're going to see our next ride look at him he is spectacular jafar is amazing and it's just it's all him it comes from the heart look at this horse look at the difference in his body in his mobility everything his energy he, he's he's phenomenal and, and i can't believe that this has only been a year Another thing I focus on in my training sessions is riding them in different postures. So as you can see, I'll have him more on the bit, more collected. Then I'll just have more of a loose rein and let him just carry himself. We'll do some stretching out. Posture is very fluid. You don't want to just hold a horse in a frame that is going to break them down earlier in life, cause tension and stress. And then you're not really teaching them anything or building muscle because you're just holding them there. So I'm working him in many different frames and I don't expect him to hold any frame for a long period of time. So right here, we're just kind of bopping along and he's doing really good. He's just stretching out a little bit, but I'm not asking for much and just letting him just carry himself because we were doing a little bit more on the bit work earlier in this ride. But I just want you to think of his first ride and now look at where he's at. And this is me still guiding him, but just kind of letting him again, carry himself in his own way and I, I'm just so proud and his top line has definitely improved a lot too. He's a lot more fit, he's shinier, he's healthier and he's just overall improved and that's what my goal is, making the horse a better horse from when I got them and it's a process. Sometimes it takes years to even just have some progress, sometimes it can develop within the last several months. It really just depends on that individual horse and what's going on in life. But to me, you got to fall in love with the process and not be fixated on results. I'm just excited about where he's been and how far he's come. And here's some pictures of, you know, when I first got him, him sat at the auction, when I won him, his first ride to where he is now. I really hope that you enjoyed this video, horse lovers, and that you might have learned something. I'll see you next time. Bye.